People with Parkinson's often have issues with walking, particularly as their disease progresses. Now researchers at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and the Baltimore VA Medical Center have shown that certain types of exercise improve walking in Parkinson's disease. Walking problems are actually the major cause of disability in Parkinson's disease. Our study showed that 50 minutes of low intensity treadmill training exercise three times a week reduces disability and improves mobility in Parkinson's disease. The researchers first tested the fitness levels of 67 people with Parkinson's disease. The patients were then randomly assigned to three different types of exercise. One group walked on a treadmill at a comfortable pace for 50 minutes. Others did high intensity treadmill training for 30 minutes to improve cardiovascular fitness. A third group did muscle strengthening and stretching exercises. The participants exercised three times a week for three months. At the end of the training, the researchers reevaluated the patient's fitness levels and measured the time it took them to walk certain distances. Our study does show that exercise over three months did improve mobility and improve function in people with Parkinson's disease. Really, mobility is the key to daily activities. So mobility will prevent disability and preserve independence. While patients in all three groups saw benefits from the training, the low-intensity treadmill exercises were the most improved in their walking ability. Although these low-intensity exercisers were walking at a comfortable pace, the researchers stressed that these participants walk continuously for 50 minutes three times each week during their training. We think looking at our data in total that we'd like to investigate a combination exercise program. And the combination exercise program that is suggested is the low intensity treadmill along with the stretching and resistance exercise. And we'd like to see whether by combining these we get even more of an improvement over time. I'm Sharon Boston reporting.